how do I stay consistent with my practice? Okay, so there's there's a couple of things I want to address here. So we have a story of somebody who played for a while and lost motivation. And you're also asking about how do you stay consistent with your practice? So it's going to be the same answer, but let me get to the consistent part later. First of all, the only reason why you're why you would not be motivated uh, to practice is two reasons. One is because you don't have inspiration, and I'll talk about that in a second. The second is because you think about something in your brain that is actually demotivating. Okay, there's two things going on here. First thing I would recommend is if you just don't feel inspired to, to play, then you need to do, uh, how, how do you get inspiration? There's a couple of different ways uh, that are really good. Number one, go see somebody who you like to play. Go see somebody who you like. Go see him play in person or go see a band or some music that you like. That's going to inspire you to want to pick it up. Boom, right away. Uh, the second best way is to listen to some new music. Listen to new music that you really like and really listen to either the guitar or, or whatever the sound is that you really like. But if it's a guitar player, it's going to inspire you to play guitar. But go listen to that until you hear something where we get what we call an earworm, that thing that you just can't get enough of, that thing, that, that new hook, that new chorus, that new guitar solo, that new thing that's like, oh man, this is awesome. You got to find some new inspiration. And, and the way to do that is not to pick up your guitar and try to make yourself motivated. That doesn't work. That's going to actually have the opposite effect. It's going to backfire on you. So you need to go out there and get new inspiration from somewhere else. The best way is to go see a guitar player in person that you really like or, or that uh, you don't even know, but who sounds really good and you like the style of it. That's going to uh, motivate you. The second way, like I said, is to go find new music that really inspires you and you really like the sound of it, especially if it's a guitar player. The other thing that I said a, mo a moment ago was that um, if you don't feel motivated to play guitar, one of the things that is probably happening is that in your brain, in your mind, when the topic of guitar comes up, you are either picturing or feeling something that is demotivating you to play guitar. Now, for most people, it's picturing. It could be this. It could be picturing the last time that you picked up a guitar or all those times that you picked up a guitar and you didn't get anywhere or you spun your wheels or you're thinking about uh, how hard it's going to be to figure out what to practice. The problem is most it's, it's not that practicing is hard. It's that most people don't know what to practice. So the hard part is trying to figure it out. So when you go pick up your guitar, you try to figure it out. You can't figure it out because you don't know what you don't know. You get demotivated. You put it down. The cycle continues. And eventually you just don't even pick it up anymore. So back to what I was saying, that when you think about playing guitar, you need to actually think about something that motivates you rather than something that demotivates you. Most people get in the habit of thinking about something that is, is hard or boring, like, oh, I just got to sit down and study theory. That's what they think of when it, when it comes to practice. Or I got to sit down, my fingers are going to hurt, or last time I didn't make it anywhere, or, or whatever. Now, that's getting into a little bit of you know, changing your mindset. And yes, you do need to change your mindset to a, a success-oriented mindset, a positive mindset about your guitar playing in order to be able to keep motivated and succeed in it, to keep doing it, because that's what it takes. Um, but the, so that was the, the first two parts. The answer to your actual question about how do I stay consistent in my practice is actually just doing the two things that I said. You need to constantly look for new inspiration for your guitar playing. So that can be new guitar players, new bands, new music, going to see concerts, going to see guitar players, et cetera. That's probably the top three ways to stay motivated, to want to continue. The, the, there's three things. So that was number one. Second thing is you actually have to make progress. So when you, in order to make progress, you have to know what you're doing when you sit down to practice. If you don't, then you need to find somebody or something or some book or some method or something that you understand that will help you reach your personal musical goals that will help you make small, consistent progress whenever you pick up your guitar. When you do that, you're going to be super motivated to want to continue because succeeding at anything feels good, right? We want to keep doing it, especially when it's something we're super passionate about, like playing the guitar. So that's requirement number two. And then finally, requirement number three, which the first two will actually take care of the third one, is the demotivating thoughts, the things that uh, make you not want to pick up the guitar, like, oh man, this is going to suck, or this is so boring, or I, I, I'm terrible at it, or my fingers don't work, or all the excuses in the book, they're really just excuses. Uh, they're negative thoughts and excuses. So if you eliminate those, and you can eliminate those by doing the first two, you will, you will want to pick up your guitar, and therefore you will be consistent at picking it up. So to sum that up, three things. One, constantly find inspiration, which means new music, go watch concerts, go look at new guitar players, et cetera. 
right? Second thing is have a method or a process or a thing or something that tells you exactly what to do when you practice. So you make consistent focused, um, you take consistent focused action, you get consistent progress every single time you pick up your guitar. Do those two things and the third thing will never happen, which is thinking demotivating thoughts, thinking about stuff, imagining stuff that makes you demotivated, like thinking about it being boring or thinking about the last time you failed or something like that. So those are the three things that I would say that not only keep you inspired to practice, but will help you uh, be consistent in your practice. In fact, it will cause you to be consistent because you won't want to, you won't need to have to want to play the guitar. You will want to play the guitar. Yeah, I really like that first one because it made me think, um, like, so you said that uh, going to hear, you know, a guitar player, somebody that motivates you or someone that you can get motivation off of. And I would immediately thought, like, have, I don't know if you've ever done this. Maybe I'm just weird. Uh, you ever watch, like, a Kung Fu movie or Jackie Chan or something? And then, like, after the movie, you're just, like, doing karate in your house oh, or something like dude. that? Of course. Yeah. yeah, I used to watch. There was a particular movie, actually, now that you bring that up, um, that I can't remember what it was, but it was, like, I was in middle school at the time and I played bat. I was on the basketball team. So I watched this, you know, inspiring movie about the underdog team who comes back and beats all the other teams. And, you know, I remember going out in my driveway in the rain, practicing my shots and thinking like oh, counting down three, two, one and shooting the winning shot. That's nice. inspiring. Same oh, yeah. thing is true on guitar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you probably watch some, there's probably some great movies of like, you know, guitar players and stuff or Beatles yeah. documentaries or things like that, that, would really motivate some people. So August rush is a good one too. Oh yeah. That is a good one. Yeah. Actually. So like the, the thing that set me on my music journey was watching the movie, that thing you do, uh, Tom Hanks. Love movie. That movie. Oh yeah. Like that. I, I remember sitting in the, I remember the moment I saw the preview for the first time, the trailer in a theater, I was with my cousin and I saw it. And I'm like, I need, I, I want to see that movie. And I w watched the movie and then like, mom i want to play drums and she went and bought me a drum set and then i started my first band in the garage and um awesome. like that was it was just like that movie was is like the pivotal point in my life and it motivated motivated me so much that like you know i had a full-time music career touring the country because of one motivation that i had in life which is crazy to think there you go yeah that's it. you guys haven't seen that movie that's tom hanks wrote directed starred in and he wrote the songs, which I thought was pretty I wild. I did not know that. That's amazing. Or, or probably co-wrote, but either way, like that's still kind of a big deal. And it's a it's a good movie. So Hey, thanks so much for watching that video. That was just a short clip of one of our longer QA videos. If you're interested in watching some more of those videos, then I recommend you hit the subscribe button over here. It's really awesome. Also, we got more videos over here. So check some out if you're interested in learning more about breakthrough guitar or advancing your guitar skills. Peace.